outstanding night event card awaits punters as far as Club and Angle is concerned on Saturday night. The running of the JD Watts Memorial will be an absolute cracker with some of the big names as far as the FIFA All ranks are concerned. Bondi Lockdown up against Spirit of St. Louis along with I Cast No Shadow, Firefox, about time. It's an outstanding field, the free for and rightly so, named in honour of one of the greats. Looking for specials, I'm going to kick off in the opening event with number one, my ultimate Chevron. Beautifully drawn in gate one, has won three of his past four. It was Jared Orchard on the crest of a wave at the moment with my ultimate Ronnie gaining a spot in the Eureka. So not one of the other, my ultimates, hopefully to the four in the opening event on the card. Moving over to race five and the very consistent, most triumphant for David Kennedy. Now this particular filly has had seven starts here at Club and Angle. She has been placed on six occasions, so a trip to the winner's circle will be well deserved. She is doubting great on some of the races she has contested up against the better class fillies as a two and a three year old. So most triumphant, I think we'll get away with the cash as far as race five is concerned. Moving over to race seven, another very consistent filly is Lover Recious. She's going great guns for Aaron Goatsby. I think she is the one to beat in the seventh event on the card. Then moving over to race nine, well, it's impossible to go past the brilliant Brave View Kelly. She's first up since finishing unplaced in the Miracle Mile. Prior to that, she won three on end, including the Queen Elizabeth II. She's an outstanding performer, Brave View Kelly. Has trialled nicely with Cam Hart in the sulky. Jack has two runners, also with BK Spy, so he does have a very strong hold as far as the Quinella is concerned. Moving over to Melton, the first of the specials appears in race five with Better Isolate coming off an unlucky and costly effort last time out at Wagga. But Matthew Craven's stable at the moment is high flying. I think Better Isolate, despite the strength of his opposition, can get away with race five on the card. Moving over to race number six and nicely drawn in gate two is May Winterra. One of two very strong chances for Andy and Kate Gath. And May Winterra, with that good draw, I think, can make amends for last start defeat. Sly Terra is going exceptionally well at the moment. And there's an interesting runner here for Dean Braun in Bollinger, former Kiwi. Has been trolling well and no doubt, despite the fact that he's drawn the second row, should be watched as far as these prospects first up for the stable is concerned. Then moving over to the last and tempting Tigress, which let us down last time. She was brave in defeat. I think she can go one better in the final event on the cards. So there, my thoughts for the two very outstanding programs of racing on Saturday night, Clubman Angle and Melton. Until next time around, good punting.